Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be reviewing my October Scentbird pick. This is Scents of Wood, Orange, and Chestnut, and I'm excited to review this for you guys. So if you'd like to know what I think, then keep watching. And for transparency purposes, I do purchase Scentbird with my own money. I am not affiliated with them. I do have a code, I will link it below. You get a free month, I get a free month. Everybody who signs up for a Scentbird account can get that as the Refer a Friend program. If you want to try it out, you can definitely check it out below, but this was not sent to me to review. Now, Scentbird was how I discovered Sense of Wood, and Sense of Wood is a house that I've actually really been loving. I have their subscription service, I own two full-size bottles, I do want to own pretty much the entire brand. I've been excited to explore this house. Now, this is a luxury niche house. They are luxury niche price. They're around, I think, like $250, $280 for a full-size bottle, so this is very expensive. But I think Scentbird has been a great way to discover this house. It's a great house to use Scentbird for because the price that you pay is like $15.95 for eight mil. So it is a really good deal. Now, first things first, Orange and Chestnut is a fragrance that I love, but I'm going to be reviewing it by removing my biases about this fragrance. And the first thing I'm gonna say is, from all the fragrances that I've tried from Sense of Wood, this one feels like the least cohesive of the line. What I've really enjoyed about Sense of Wood is how it really celebrates wood as a note, and it kind of takes it and turns it into beautiful wearable fragrances that I think really celebrates just woody, woody fragrances in a variety of different ways. The one thing that I love about this fragrance has to do with the fact that it is primarily a floral musky scent. It has a very just extreme amber extreme note in there, which adds a bit of kind of like sharpness to it and a little bit of bite that I really enjoy. But I will have to say that compared to the other fragrances, this one doesn't center around wood as much. And I feel like if it did center around wood a little bit more, it would be more of a cohesive fragrance as part of the line. I'm gonna read you the notes from here because I've tried filming this video like three times and I always just muddle the notes. I'm really not good at just naming them off the top of my head. So there's Neroli, Orge Bigarande, Orange Flowers. There's also Cedarwood, Amber Extreme, Musks, and Cashmere and Wood. So, this fragrance I've worn for at least a week or two. I very much enjoy this fragrance. So this fragrance is a beautiful kind of bitter, kind of green, kind of like bitter orange, obviously with the Neroli fragrance. It's not that kind of sweet, billowy, marshmallowy, soft orange blossom. It's again, kind of more of a bitter, aromatic, um, very green, very sharp, very biting scent. Um, but it does have a soft sweetness to it that I really enjoy. What I like about this fragrance is that kind of ambery extreme note. Some people don't like notes like that in fragrances, some people do. I think it's a personal preference. I don't mind it if they're utilized correctly and not in a way that cheapens a fragrance, but a way that kind of works with the formula and the composition to elevate a fragrance. And I think in this fragrance, it's used very, very well. That kind of sharp, biting, woody, um, semi almost like it's not rancid, but you know those kind of like really sharp notes you get in a fragrance that kind of make a fragrance smell either really fantastic or smell like bug spray. This works it in the really fantastic way because it's not so much focusing on soft fruity florals, it's focusing more on a very aromatic kind of bitter green floral, again with that Neroli, and I really enjoy that. This scent has a nice presence on the skin. It smells really sexy, really appealing. I like the greenness that it has. I like the muskiness that it has in the background. And overall, it's been a really pleasant fragrance to wear. It's not going to be for everyone, again, because of that kind of bitter, ambery, biting note to it. So this is definitely one I would recommend sampling first. But overall, I find it to be really pleasant. I like complexity. I like fragrances that sometimes have a little bit of bitter bitterness, that have a little bit of bite. Sometimes woody fragrances can almost smell smell semi-sour. This isn't a sour fragrance, but I like when woods have a little bit more dimension than just smelling like a tree. And sometimes I like just smelling like a tree. But this fragrance has a lot of dimensions to it, has a lot of nuances to it that's really playing towards musks and greens 
and sharpness and bitterness and bitingness that works beautifully with kind of like this kind of soft floral uh, sweetness that it has, like kind of like enveloping the top of it or covering the top of it like a blanket. It's very pretty. And I love it. It's been great for humidity, especially if you like more complex fragrances. It lasts on my skin for a good long while. It smells fantastic. So overall as a fragrance, this is something that I really enjoy. Longevity projection, fantastic. How it smells and develops on the skin, fantastic. I love it, but this is my personal preference. But I did want to kind of mention that if you are exploring sense of wood and you are looking for the best that the house has to offer, a great woody fragrance, something that really just smells quality and high class and really well blended and really well cultivated, and there was a lot of very deliberate choices made, this fragrance smells great, but it doesn't smell as deliberate as some of the other fragrances do from the house that I've tried. So overall, as my favorite fragrance from the house, I'd say that this is so far the one that I'm least excited about. But that's because in my opinion, a lot of the other fragrances from this house, like oak and oak and sandalwood and oak, have, sent the have set the bar so high. So overall, I think orange and chestnut is a really beautiful fragrance, especially if you like those aromatic, a kind of green bitter notes with the softness and sweetness of flowers. I think it's really fantastic. I think this is a great scent to make an impression. This is a great scent if you like heavier, more complex fragrances, but you live in a hot and humid climate. This is going to work very, very well, but this is not going to be for everybody because not a lot of people like that sharp biting bitterness that this has from the Amber Extreme. And also, I think that some people who are excited about Sense of Wood and have tried maybe other fragrances from Sense of Wood, it's not gonna have that beautiful kind of cohesive heart and soul of wood that um, the other fragrances that I've tried from this house have. It's a beautiful fragrance, but the wood is more of an afterthought. And I feel like they really try to work more with the wood and work around the wood with these other notes, it could have created something really, really special. But instead, it kind of feels like they were trying to create an orange blossom fragrance. I just wanted some woods in there. And as much as this is a great fragrance, as much as something it's I really enjoy, and I will buy a bottle of this because it works really well, well where I live, and it smells really good, and I enjoy it. Um, as a cohesive part of that line, it feels a little bit, um, it doesn't fit. So I did kind of want to let you guys know that, but it's a great scent. I enjoy it. It's not going to be for everybody, but again, if you are looking for something that you can wear in heat and humidity that has a little bit of complexity, that has a little bit of heaviness and presence on the skin, but isn't going to suffocate you, isn't going to feel muddy, isn't going to feel too heavy and just, it feels nice and is appropriate for, you know, hot and humid weather. This is a great fragrance. I do really enjoy it. So that is my review of Orange and Chestnut from Scents of Wood. Again, I particularly love this scent. I've been wearing it and I think it works very, very well, but this is a fragrance I would definitely try before you buy, especially if you are familiar with other Scents of Wood fragrances, because this one doesn't feel like it fits as well as the others do with their entire collection. But nonetheless, I find it to be a very strong fragrance. So that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have had the opportunity to try this fragrance, I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.